Have you ever wondered if pirates did have parrots for pets? Or did they actually make people walk the plank? Well, today on History of Pirates, we're giving you the top 10 pirate facts that you probably don't know. Number 1. One movie shaped how we think pirates spoke and dressed. Many of the phrases we associate with pirates today actually originated from the 1950s film Treasure Island, starring Robert Newton as Long John Silver. Newton's performance, full of R's, shiver me timbers, and references to landlubbers not only stole the show, it permanently shaped pop culture's vision on how pirates looked, acted, and spoke. Number 2. Pirates did wear eye patches, but not because they were missing an eye. By wearing a patch, pirates could trick their vision into adjusting to darkness more quickly. It takes an average human about 25 minutes to fully adapt from bright sunlight to seeing in complete darkness. If a pirate was fighting on deck in the sunlight, they had to continue the fight under the deck where it was usually pretty dark. It could take long for their eyes to adjust and for the pirate to be able to see. The eye patch could use to prepare one eye to see in the dark, so when they would go below deck they could swap the eye patch from one eye to the other and see, kind of like their version of night vision. This would allow them to instantly see in the dark. Number 3. Pirates wore earrings, but not for fashion. Some pirates were convinced that wearing earring would improve bad eyesight or would prevent sickness. Earrings made of silver and gold helped pay for a sailor's funeral. If a man died on the ship, the earrings helped to cover the cost of transporting his body home so that he wouldn't be buried at sea or on foreign soil. Number 4. Rum was safer to drink than water. On long voyages, water was stored in barrels, and many times the water became stagnant and was dangerous to drink. But when rum was added, they found that the water became safer to drink. Hence the phrase, why is all the rum gone? Because now we can't drink any of our water. Number 5. Pirate ships often had bands and drama teams on board. That's right, you couldn't be bored out there on those long voyages. Pirates often spent months and even years at sea with only occasional stops. Sailors needed to keep themselves occupied on the ships, which is why they often hired bands on board to play and others to perform theater. Imagine having that job. Number 6. Pirates did keep parrots. According to many historians, pirates did keep a few parrots that they caught, but most were sold when the ship reached home. They were colorful, beautiful birds, and many of them were taught to talk, as they were very entertaining, so they fetched a good price when they were sold on market. Number 7. Pirates did maroon troublesome crew members on deserted islands. According to the National Geographic, if someone on board was causing issues, they would be left on an uninhabited island to die, and just like in the movies. They were often given a gun with a single shot so they could end things quickly. Number 8. The most powerful pirate in history was a woman. Madame Ching from China commanded more than 300 ships from anywhere between 20,000 to 40,000 men. She was considered one of the most powerful pirates in history. In 1810, she took a pardon from the Chinese government and retired. She used her wealth to open a gambling house, which she operated until her death in 1844 at the age of 69. Number 9. There is no record of any pirates making anyone walk the plank. Walking the plank was a Hollywood creation. What real pirates did in history was way worse. Punishing their victims would either be killing them immediately or keel hauling. What happens with keel hauling is that the pirates tie their victim with a rope while dragging them under the ship. The hulls of the vessel are often full of debris and barnacles. Dragging the victims back and forth can result in fatal wounds, while others died of drowning. Number 10. Pirates rarely buried treasure. Some pirates did, 
but most didn't. And here's why. Most of the loot gathered after a raid or an attack was quickly divided up amongst the crew, who would rather spend it than bury it. Secondly, much of the treasure consists of perishable goods like fabric, cocoa, food, or other things that would quickly become ruined if buried. Burying the treasure became legend partly due to the popularity of the classic novel Treasure Island, which include a hunt for buried pirate treasure. And those are your 10 pirate facts you might not have heard about. Thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to check out all the cool things in the description. This is History of Pirates.